Yo, what is up, everyone? It's your boy, your dog, and your homie, Mr. Ryan Mahalik here, coming at you with some balloons to you content, and we're going to be using farm once again in today's video. Dude, farm actually seems decent. From uh, my experience in the last video, we got a bunch of XP for it. We're going to be trying to get the um facility this this video. We are only about 4,000 experience points away, and we're in the big BFB Coliseum. So let's, let's get it, boys. We still got our boost going on. 26 minutes left on that bad boy, so we want to make sure to use its whole lifespan. And um, get some dubs here. We're gonna Shadow Star X for our first game here. Looks like they want to play Basalt Columns. Um, are we gonna are we gonna rock with Basalt here? We'll rock with the Basalt of Columns. It looks like it. Sure, sure, sure. Why not? Um, so I actually want to level up Spike Factory as well here. We're Darling Farm is gonna be the majority of our strategy, but I might place some spikes in the back just for the experience points. And yeah. I don't really have much of a use for a third tower here, especially on a short map like this. Just mostly Dartling Farm and my um, Gwyn. Gwyn helps out a lot, actually, here. Because Gwyn buffs your Dartlings, and um, it also has like the Firebomb ability, which helps out on rushes a ton. But if you enjoyed today's video, guys, at any point, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really goes a long way, lads. And um, yeah, we're trying to hit 10k subscribers at some point, so if you could help me out on my journey, I'd appreciate that. Start with my Dartling here. They start with a Striker Jones. Interesting. They're definitely going to be leaking a lot. Starting with the Striker. They will leak a lot here. They're just not going to have... Oh, they have enough money for their Boomer. I still think they're leak here. Maybe. Maybe not, actually. Who knows? Oh. No, they did leak. We got the first blood. There you go. Love to see that bonus. Love to see the bonus coming in. Let's place my farm up top. We have a good farm space on this map, which is nice, even though we don't really need it, because the game's not going to go too late. Games on this map never go too late, so the farm space is not necessarily something super important. You know what I'm saying? The farm space is not super important. Alright, let's go for this increased production upgrade. Perfect. And we'll switch off to sending um, yellows now. We just want to be sending spaced balloons this whole time. Um, just to get the efficient eco. Plus, we'll put some pressure on them with these. As you can see, they're leaking quite a bit now. Get the powerful darts going here. I shouldn't be leaking. Unless my dartling targeting is just terrible. I guess we leaked some. It's okay. It's okay. So we forced a ricochet on their side, which is nice. Got the greater production on that bad boy. Perfect. And I will be saving up for my um, Gwyn now. Where do I place my Gwyn though? Because I want my... The thing is you want your hero in the range of the Dartling. Because it grants it extra pierce and stuff. So maybe I place it like right there. In all honesty. Might be a good spot. Might be a solid spot there. Do I go for another farm here? Or do I go for my... More dartling upgrades. They're sending me green balloons, so I might have to go for more dartling upgrades. Yeah, I think I do have to. Uh, we'll send them some yellow, uh, white balloons as well. This might actually push on their side. I don't know if the ricochet will defend whites on this map. We'll have to wait and see. No, it looks like it's actually doing decent. It's doing decent. Hold on. Oh, look at their life count, by the way. I just realized they're at 41. That's not good for them. They're bringing Mortar. Interesting. I'm not sure how good Mortar is on this map. There's not really good Mortar bins is the issue. There's no good bins for it. At least from my, from what I'm looking at right now. Uh, Alright, let's go for another farm here in a second. Go for the triple farms up top. We should be getting a solid income now from these. Plus our eco is actually solid as well. So you'd love to see that. Are we good here or do we need to go for another dartling? I think we'll go for another dartling. This should handle now. Um, will purples do anything? Just some spaced purples at them? 
Will this do anything? No, it looks like he's fine against those. Okay. I want to get up a, four, a third tier farm here. And now we just... um. And now we will just save up for my hydropods. I think. So he went for the fourth tier boomer at the bottom left, as you can see. So he'll be fine. They'll be fine against rushes. Although I'm not sure, can we sneak camel balloons through that? I actually think I can. I can camel rush them and they'll die. Which is camel pinks. I don't think their um, signal flare will catch everything. If it's like balloon star defense one at all, or BTD battles one. I mean, not balloon star defense one. Yeah, I'm gonna send them a. I'm gonna send them a balloon boosted camel rush. Really? That hits everything? Oh my gosh, I feel so stupid. I didn't expect that to hit everything, bro. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. No worries, no worries. We're fine. If he re-rushes, I can get up a second, um, Hydropods. I just need to be ready for that. We're fine, we're fine. Okay, let's rush them. Are they good there? Dude, the Kylie is so good. I swear. The Kylie bo boomerang or whatever the fourth tier one they have is so good. We need to send them some ceramics or something here. We forced a boost. That's good. We forced a boost. We can re-rush with um, a balloon boosted rush here. Are they good against this? Oh, we take them down, bro. I'm so goaded. I'm so goaded. Dude, those layered rushes go crazy. The layered rushes go crazy. Look at that. Oh, we actually didn't get any next spike, spike factory experience. I forgot we had the tower. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. How close are we to the farm? Oh, we're 1,500 off the big farm. Okay. We're 1,500 off it. We'll hop in again. We'll hop in again. All right. The map is Castle Runes. I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip it. Mayan. We'll, we're fine with Mayan here. Mayan's actually a good dartling map. You have a really good dartling line, which is what I like about it. Really good line for the dartling. No, I think I'm gonna switch Spike Factory for Super here in case the game goes late. We get Super, which is good, um, good DDT popping power for us. We get the Dark Knight and stuff with that, which is what we're looking for there. All right, here we go against Shadow Star X. So what am I placing my Dartling here? Is I'm actually gonna place it up top, and the reason behind that is I want to anti stall the rounds, right? So. I think this placement will help us anti-stall a lot if we place it just up here, like that. Yeah, we're just popping these balloons as soon as humanly possible, which is great for us. Targeted just like that. Perfect. Now you're like, oh, you're anti-stalling with super. Yeah, I know. I know it's a bit weird. Super is just kind of a crutch for us um, in case the game does go late, but we're not planning on taking the game late. We want to use advantage of our farms and kill them mid-game. Pretty much. That's my goal here. So they're going striker with um boomerang. That's interesting. Striker and boomerang. Because striker bu buffs bomb towers. It doesn't buff boomer. So I don't know really why they bring boomer here. But 
We'll see what they're bringing, I guess, as the rest of the towers. Start sending them group, uh, I mean, space yellows. And we're going to need our powerful darts here as well against their group blues. There we go. Should be fine now. We should be fine. Continue the anti-stole, obviously. We don't want them getting a lot of eco here. No, sir. Get the greater production on that bad boy. Perfect. Are they going to leak here? If they leak, it's actually good for us because we get um the bonus. Oh, yep, there we go. First blood bonus. You like to see that. First blood bonus has been achieved. We'll be going for our second farm here soon. Perfect. So there's going to be greens now. I will need more defense against greens. So I'm going to go for the faster barrel spin here. Against the green balloons. And that should also that should handle everything pretty well. I also need oh I need to get my Gwyn up. I have not gotten my Gwyn up yet, and I'm missing out on the, all the experience for it. That's unfortunate. That's kind of just my that's on me right there. I shouldn't have gone for the second farm. I should have gotten my Gwyn up next. Okay, we're good though. We're good. Place you right there. We want to place it in the range of the Dartling, obviously. Start equaling with spaced whites there. Increased production. How does this do against group yellows? It actually seems to be doing decent. I haven't leaked yet, but I probably will. Wait, really? No leaks against grouped yellows? Look at that, guys. The dartling, I told you, the dartling's so good on this map. It's insane. Come on, get, place the firebomb down. Perfect. No leaks. Love to see that. So they have... Oh, they have Mortar. That makes sense why they'd bring um, Striker Jones then. If they have Mortar. Get the plantation going. We're still running our anti-stall, which is phenomenal. Obviously, that's the main purpose of bringing farms. The reason why anti-stalling is good with farms, by the way, if you didn't know, guys, is... So Eco is based on game length, right? So the longer a round is, the more money you'll get from eco. But that's not how farms are. Farms, you get a certain amount of money per round, so it doesn't matter how long the round is. So, in a case where a round's short, the farm player will get the same amount of money, but the eco player will get less. So that's why um, you want the rounds to be short with farms, essentially. Oh, I shouldn't have gone for the second three, second plant, because now I don't have money for my hydropods. Uh, hopefully he doesn't notice, which appears they haven't noticed yet. So we're just going to sit around and save up. Oh, they definitely have noticed now. We'll sell a farm. We're fine. I didn't like selling the farm there, but it is what it is. I, I kind of just put that on myself. In all honesty, I put that on myself. Oh, crap. They have, like, no defense. Um. Well, let's rush them. Does that defend? Oh, I thought their group popping power was trash. What the heck? They defended that? Unfortunate. Hmm. Let's go for another... Let's go for another farm, and then we can rush them later. I think. Oh, they have ninja. Okay. They have ninja. We'll send them a um, ceramic rush here in a bit, after we save up some money. Okay, we forced a boost, that's good. Are they dead? No, they're good, they're good. I'm gonna all out them. They don't have boost. They don't have boost. Are they dead? That's 
Cole! Oh my gosh. Bro, I'm getting these quick wins with farm. Dude, that's the strength of farm. You can rush like that and get those quick wins. You love to see that, guys. We get all the bonuses as well there. Get some nice farm XP. I think we get the fourth tier farm unlocked now. Is that true? Do we get do we unlock our fourth tier farm? Oh, we do. Oh, look at that. Now we can get this re uh, the. Wait, what? I really just got the marketplace. I thought I got the. I bought the wrong thing. Oh dang it! Now we're a thousand XP away. We'll get it next game. We'll get it next game. It's okay. It's okay. That's a. Uh, we're burning daylight with our timer for the experience bonus. So let's hop right back in, boys. We want to limit the time between games because obviously want to maximize the length of our experience boost. If you know what I'm saying. Okay. Should we go on Koru? Honestly, this might be a good map because the map's really anti-stall heavy, so that helps out farm a lot. Now, super does not seem very useful here, but again, what would be useful for us? <laughs> I don't think anything really would. So, cuz it's just it's just Dartling and um Dartling and Gwyn is our like defense. I guess maybe we could bring Tack, and then we have the Maelstrom. Hmm. Tack might be a useful tower to bring. Who knows? All right, get this down. We want to run an anti-stall, obviously. So let's target you like that, and group in space deco as well until we get our farm up. They're going with the double boomerang start. Well done. Well freaking done, lad. So I don't think I'm probably out. Oh yeah, never mind. I don't even have the fourth tier farm yet. I was gonna say I don't think I'll get it this game because the map, the route, the what was I gonna say? The games on this map never go that long. But I don't even have the upgrade unlocked, so it is what it is. They have a, their double boomers. I'll be sending uh, yellow balloons now because obviously the blues become grouped. So they're not as good for me. Come on, get the powerful darts. Perfect. Are we forcing leaks? We did force leaks. First blood goes to us. Look at that. You love to see that, guys. You love to see that. Oh, dude, the ricochet is doing so bad. What the heck? Why is the ricochet just fumble in the bag right now? They're dying to spaced. They're dying to spaced um yells with a ricochet. Oh my gosh. This is just. They have to boost. Are they gonna die, bro? <laughs> bro, Nick White, dude, your ricochet spot's bad. No, no cap, bro. No caparino. All right, we're gonna send white balloons now their way. I don't know. Will this do anything? Cause the yellows were doing stuff, but we, his boomer was also chasing back then. So the boomer's not chasing now, which might make the difference for them. We should be fine against their balloons. Okay, looks like they're handling better now. Looks like Nick White's handling the rush better now. So well done there. We just need to save up for another farm here. Maybe I try playing a little bit more passive mid-game this um this time around and getting up the more farms and then killing them with um Moab class balloons. I could also try that. Waiting and killing them a little bit later. But then, are we gonna die is the question. Like, how would I defend the BFB? I don't know. I don't exactly know. Another thing I kind of don't like about farms is the fact that, um... The fact that there's no farmers is kind of annoying. I know tons of people probably say that. I'm not the first one, but... Yeah, I really enjoy the how easy it is to collect bananas without far with farmers, and you don't have that l luxury on Battles 2, unfortunately. We should be able to sit, get up my 
third tier farm now. Great. Love to see that. They're sending me pinks. Interesting. Um, let's go for that. We're fine now. Beautiful. We just need to save up for my um hydropods, essentially. Come on, get it up. Bro, I was literally a hundred dollars off the hydropods there. That was so stupid. And I had to sell my farm and obviously I got it up late, so I died. Oh, that shouldn't have happened. That's so annoying. I sent too much there. That was just that was on me. That was on me, guys. That was on me. I think I oh I can't afford it. Okay, cool. We'll get what's central market market do? Nah, we'll we'll get the research facility. All right. Five minutes left on our boost. Hopefully we get Mayan again. If we get Mayan again, we definitely can afford this uh research facility. And we'll have super in our loadout, so it'll help us out late game. Oh, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Please, um please ready up, bro. Mr. Kyrix. I'm counting on you, Kyrix. There we go. This is the map I wanted. We should be able to show off our fourth tier farm now. Earn trophies by defeating your opponents. Move up in arenas. Reach Hall of Masters to compete with the best of the best. Ooh. Thank you for the, um... Thank you for the advice. Little icon. Alright. Same thing we always do here. Start off with our Dartling. Right there. So they're starting with Tack. Interesting. Again, I think anti slowing is the best bet, even though we're trying to get fourth tier farm. I think anti slowing is still going to be the play here. It's interesting to see people use TAC now. TAC's definitely so much worse after the update. Um, it got nerfed like crazy. The, the change of one pierce makes such a large difference, it's insane. It's insane. <clears throat> so they end up going for a blade tree. That's what a lot of people are doing with tack now because um the tack sprayer path was the path that was nerfed a ton, but blade shooter was not. So it's kind of the reason why people go for blade shooters now. Oh, they went for a um what's it called? They have Gwyn as well. Interesting. We'll need our powerful darts here in a second. Perfect. We should handle everything now. And now we just save up for my greater production. Easy as peasy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Japanesey. The blade tree spot on this map actually looks pretty decent though. As you can see, the blades go really far away from the ta the tack shooter, so they catch a lot of the other bins, which obviously make the tower itself pretty good. Now we're gonna go for this right away, actually. Can I go for you right there? Will that hit the... I think that's in the Dartling range. I hope it is. I hope it is. That way we get some experience going for the Gwyn early on. Early on. If they send me greens here, will this defend greens, or will I need um to upgrade my dartling more? I hope this would defend greens, but I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it looks like they're not. I'll definitely need to upgrade my dartling for yellows. No doubt about that. So they end up going for a tax sprayer here. Interesting. Okay. 
kind of just want to save up for my plantation. And not upgrade my dartling. Maybe I boost if he rushes me. Just so I can greed. Oh, dude, it's so cool seeing that fourth tier upgrade right there. I definitely want to get that this game. If we can get that, that would be pretty hype. Get the valuable bananas going. Perfect. Now I think we need to save up for our hydropods, unfortunately. It's okay. I'm not going to rush the mid game this uh, time around, as I've been doing earlier. I don't think rushing mid game is going to be the play here, as I want to just save up good farms. I might rush them with like um, ZMGs and bigger balloons later, but we're going to be taking it a little bit later this game. So they went for their... um. Overdrive, well done. Come on, let's get that up. Perfect. We should be fine against rushes now. And again, now we'll just focus all of our money on farms and we won't um, rush them. Honestly... There isn't much of a point to rush anyways. I mean, he would... Actually, we probably could force, like, mouse Mousetroms on rushes, but since he has tack, it's not like we're going to kill them with ceramics or something, because they can just mouse drum any big rush we send. So I think we'll go for three of these, and then maybe we'll save up for my, um... research facility after that. How's that sound as a plan? Is that a good plan? If he sends me a big rush, what I can do is I can sell one of these and get up a um, Rocket Storm ability. That'll be my plan if they rush me with a big thing. I'll just sell a farm and get the Rocket Storm ability. Which should defend. Actually, let's go for a fourth farm. Let's go for a fourth farm. Wait, what did he just do? Oh, he sold his... Okay. I wonder what their eco looks like. I feel like we've done a decent job of anti-stalling, so I don't, I don't imagine it'd be super high, but who knows. Who knows? It could be very good. $18,000. That's actually quite expensive. Let's get a second dartling down just in case. Yeah. Just in case he wants to rush us here. We'll boost. That should defend. Yeah, it defends pretty easily. Cool, cool, cool. How much do you sell for? 9,000? Should I sell them and get my farm up, or should I just save up for the farm? I think saving up for the farm might be the better play here. Because the thing is, about from BT2-1 to BT2, um, when, in BT2, you only get 65% of the buy cost back when selling. While in BT1, you get 80%, so selling in Battles 2 is a lot worse. You don't want to sell very often. If you can avoid it, that is. 18,000, so we need about 6,000 more. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there for the big boy. The big boy farm. Let's get it. Now, after we get the farm up, then I can start sending him stuff. I think I'll probably send a BFB fortified at some point. Unless they send me one. Who knows, maybe they'll send me one. And it looks like they are, okay. How are we gonna defend this, dude? We definitely want the Dark Knight. We're actually getting income very fast though from our farms, which is nice. Dude, I want to send them a ZMG. I really do. 
Will this defend a BFP no boost? I don't know. I might go for the Rocket Storm ability as well. Come on. Yeah, we're good. We're good against that. So that's in the it's in the ZMG. And now we'll save up for another um facility. We're gonna balloon boost it as well. We'll see how they like this. What's going on with the round? Why is the round not ending? Wait! Crap, crap, crap. I forgot about purple balloons. Oh, that was so bad. I thought we defended everything with our loadout, but I forgot purple balloons were a thing. What's their plan here? Oh, they got up the tax zone. Are they good now? Tax zone OP, I guess. Tax zone's so good. Look at that. Well done. Okay. We need to get up another. We need to get up another um, research facility, for sure. I can't believe I leaked to purple balloons, dude. I forgot purples were a thing. I feel like we played this game decently well, but I just that BFB defend kind of costed us when he sent me that BFB. I defended it very poorly, I think. All right, if he sends me a uh, one sec, what's the range of that? If he sends me DDTs, I just need to be ready to buy some Dark Knight, buy some Dark Knights up. I want a third. I want a third facility here. And then we send them around thirty. Um, bad is the plan. How much do you sell for, by the way? Seventeen thousand. Yeah, dude, they don't sell for that much. That's the thing about farms. They don't sell for that much as in BTD1, which is kind of annoying. Can we actually go for another one? No, I can't. I can't. I need to be able to afford a bad. What's he doing? Why is he selling stuff? Come on. In the round, in the round. Oh, this is just going to be whoever dies first, I think. Because there's no chance either of us are defending. I don't think so. Oh, we have Spike Factory. Okay. Oh, dude, I can't defend this. I can't defend this.
Oh, we won! We won! I'm goaded, bro. The DDT barely got by. GG's, Kyrox. That was a fun one. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. As always, Ryan Mahalik out. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.